welcome back to my channel it's debbie in the building as always guys in today's video i'll be showing you how i made this fufu with corn flour yeah i just thought of it one day and decided to use it to make fufu and looking enough guys it turned out well yeah it turns out so well so guys i'll be showing you you know what we are in now guys this time around we cannot go to african shop and right now in my house there is no african food here and we cannot go to buy so i just try my possible best to you know use um the things we can find in all these italian shop to convert it to something that is edible and something that we can you know use and sustain our body because guys your girl like swallow yeah <laughs> i don't joke with swallow so i got to eat some swallow <laughs> so i decided to use the corn flour for fufu and it came out well if you are new to my channel you are highly welcome please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload new video and my old returning subscribers, if you've not turned on the notification bell, please do turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime I upload new videos. Yeah. And please, guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you like what you see by the end of this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Yeah. A thumbs up for your sister. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So guys, let's get into the video. Yeah, let's get into the kitchen and start cooking. Mm -hmm. This is the brand of corn flour that I'll be using for this fufu. Yeah, this is what it looks like. And this corn flour is made from yellow corn. I think it has a one that is also made from white corn but this particular one i'm using is made from the yellow corn as you can see from the color so the texture looks um a little bit rough it's not smooth like our cornstarch that we usually use for pap yeah the one that is like also custard no this one has a rough texture just like our gary red gary yeah so this is my water and my turning stick i put a little quantity of water now i'll be adding it and be stirring it up gradually i'm using cold water guys this is cold water so as you can see as i'm adding i'm turning i'll keep adding till i get the consistency i want or uh, a moderate consistency a moderate consistency that is not too watery and not too thick that is what i'm aiming at so as i stay i try to monitor you know and <laughs> check to see if i've achieved the consistency i want now i stopped adding because I've gotten the consistency I want. So what I'll do now is to turn it to ensure that there are no lumps. Yeah. That is what I'm doing right away. Turning it to ensure there are no lumps. I went ahead to continue turning. You know? Right now, there are no lumps. There are no lumps, as you can see. So I'll go ahead and place it on the fire and then start cooking yeah as I'm cooking I'm turning that is how to achieve a smoother fufu you don't have to leave it you have to keep turning <laughs> turning and turning <laughs> yeah you need to turn and turn you know for you to make fufu you need enough energy mm -hmm. enough energy 
better strength <laughs> to turn it. It's not easy, guys. It's not easy to make fufu. You need better strength. So that is what I'm doing. I'll keep turning till it messes up evenly. I'll keep turning it till everything incorporates well, you know. Then, after that, I'll go ahead to add a little water. Yeah, I'll add a little water and then cover it up to cook properly yeah because i like my fufu well cooked you know man looking at it it looks well cooked anyways but i'm not so satisfied guys so i went ahead and added a little water you know and covered it up to cook for two minutes then this is after two minutes i came back and start turning it again so that the water i just added will also mix up evenly you know so i went ahead and continued turning it to get a smoother and well cooked fufu guys as you can see this corn fufu looks like gary our normal gary i like the color everything it just looks like red gary you know and one good thing about this Kung Fufu is that it's light. It's lighter than curry. When you eat it, it's not that heavy on your body. It's very light on your body. That's another good thing about this Kung Fufu, guys. I really love it. You know. Guys, as you can see, now my Fufu is ready. After mixing up the what i just added you know is ready so i'll just go ahead and scrape out the ones on my turning stick and then just shake it up like this to make it smooth that is it guys <laughs> that's one good thing about using a non-stick pan i always recommend using a non-stick pan Whenever you're making fufu, be it potato fufu, corn fufu, semolina, the best is non-stick pan. This is it, guys. My fufu is ready, guys. It's ready. Hmm? No need of too much packaging, putting in plastic from uh, foil or anything. I'm just digging in, guys. I see the hot. I'm eating it as it is hot but if you are not eating yours when you just finish making it if you are not eating it yet you can put it in a plastic foil and then save it in your cooler warmer or whatever please make sure you eat it while it's hot if you don't eat it while it's hot it will turn to agiti it will 
it will be strong so it's always best to eat it while it is hot just check out the texture everything about this kung fu fu looks like gary it also has the white one so but i've not tried the white one that is all for this video guys bye and thank you all for watching stay safe and see you all in my next video